So Fanny, Wendy and I sailed south to Santa Maria from our anchorage in Palmera, a three-hour trip which brought us here. the nights and in the morning Fanny and I went to look for a better place to land a dinghy. This spot looked promising on Google Maps but there's only one way to truly find out. Well this did look promising. Dinghy looks cool. Although beaches are public there was a guard for the hotel who said my dinghy would be safe here. Fanny was testing out the swimming situation while I kept a watchful eye. I may have found the perfect spot to land here in Santa Maria. Then we went to explore and find our way to town. Wendy didn't want to come. Wendy was happy to stay aboard Galapa, chilling by herself. <laughs> While Fanny, well, she is always up for some fun. Yeah. With, of course, photo pauses along the way. We could see the shoreline from Galapa, but did not realize there was a path here. The hotels here do not own the coast or beaches. It has to remain accessible to the public. restaurant here to get to the access to the beach. Which led us to the main beach and the pier. This pier is one of the iconic places of Sal. Fishermen sell their catch here and it's the people's swimming pool. Now will Fanny go for it? I'll set the example. I mean, if I can do it. <laughs> Come on, girl. Tout est possible. Bon, va répéter ces bons cafés, elle mène. Ah, vous savez, vos tivoli et vos casalta, vos de toute gent, vos traditions sales. Bon, bon, bye. Okay, that's off her bucket list. Conta. Mash? No, ma. Sensation. Sap. Bon hi. And Fanny saw a friend from the pier, so we went out to the beach. It's spectacular, no? She stayed with a friend, and I was thinking about my dinghy. Is that all right there? Turns out that spot over there, where I thought it was nice and secure, was not so secure. Boys got into my dinghy, just forced the throttle, and messed up the cable. When I got into my dinghy, started up, it just started revving up, and the throttle was all messed up, so I'm not going back there. We're gonna stay here one more night. Tomorrow morning, early, we're going back to Palmera. It's much cooler over there. I did not go back to shore. I dropped Fanny off and reluctantly was a water taxi that night. I'm gonna make her pay for that tomorrow. And in the morning, I shuttled Fanny to the pier with a detour. 
There were fishermen in the way, so we had to wait to dock. <laughs> and this is where Fanny has to earn her keep. I sent her out to fetch gasoline for the dinghy. As well, I was waiting for a friend and crew member to sail back to Palmera with us. We got a special guest sailing with us today. The one and only Sao Vicente famous Chira, who's been here in Sao and he called me up and he's going to sail with us to Palmera. That's right. My dear friend Cheetah. He's the one who takes care of moorings in Nindelo. He has taken care of my boat on many occasions while I was away, and has helped several sailor friends of mine there. He's also a captain, mostly sports fishing boats, but he's handling Galapan pretty well. And we're moving with just the Genoa. sailed for as long as we could, then it was straight into the wind, which can also be a challenge for sailboats. And challenges are what me and Galopin are about, as long as we don't have to suffer. It took us about four hours to sail back. Cheetah helped me secure my mooring and we went to celebrate our arrival. Beers and fried moray eel. Enjoy, ladies. Tomorrow, you will have to walk about. remember I was here a while back and promised to bring the girls here. Well, as you can see, they were not disappointed. As for myself, I did offer the challenge of diving in. You see, the old geezer can do it. <laughs> and 
then Jeffrey came by to show us more. Yes, more amazing places to swim on the island of Sal. But that's for next week. Welcome to Galapa. These are our studios, man. This is where the magic happens. It's humble, but it gets the job done. It's because of the great people like you on Patreon who make this happen. This Living Adventure series. I hope you'll join our community. We've got some extra perks like live updates, news, photos, videos, and I've even taken a stab at writing some short stories which are not for general audiences on YouTube. And our friend Graham from Australia set up a WhatsApp chat to aptly called Galapan's Cockpit. Guys from all over have joined, and it's this community that's contributing to the continuation of this living adventure series. If not, you can always watch us for free on YouTube. Make sure to give us a like or a dislike, make a comment, make your opinion heard. I'll try to get back to you. Thanks for watching this episode of Winded Voyage, a real living adventure series. It's not fake, baby. Mm -hmm.